Okay, wanted to do a quick update on my aquaponics. Yeah, things are going so-so. Fish are new. Fish are doing great. Um, they've really uh, <laughs> they're really eating well. Um, what I've done is you can probably see the water. I've got a lot more aeration. I've added an air pump. I got the air stone over in this corner and an air stone over on that side, you know, as well as my normal spray bar. And of course the uh the drain from the flood and drain gives some good aeration. Uh also you'll notice I put some black plastic around. Um trying to uh shade some of the water or to keep the algae down and that I believe I even notice a difference already uh, I think the algae may have cut back I don't know if possibly the I don't know if the oxygenation could help with that as well as the uh, you know the, the reduction in light getting to the water I don't know but uh, at any rate I almost seem like I notice uh, the reduction in the real dark the real green color to the water that I've had um, I also put uh, covers on the uh, PVC where I had the little cutouts where the, the drains are and I've got one on both ends I don't know if you can see it over there or not but when I get back to that side I can show you um, so that's those are the changes that I've made, and let me go back around here and I'll show you the. Uh, let's see, there's my dog lady. <laughs> show you what I've done as far as the pump. You can see here I've got a little plastic tote kind of covering for now, but there's the pump and my wiring. And it's a four outlet pump, so I've got two air stones in the fish tank and two air stones going into the biofilter there. So uh, I'm hoping that that will make a difference. Uh, all the levels in my water tests look good. Uh, I don't don't see any adverse effects by the addition of the 25 hybrid bluegill that I put in um, they seem to be doing great like I said so I, I do notice that uh, I am getting some green back in some of my plants <laughs> which which is a good thing Let's see my uh, pepper plants here I even got a couple new leaves coming up in the middle and they're actually looking uh, a darker green color. Uh, this tomato plant starting to kind of get some color back to it. It's very, it was very yellow before, and now the stem and up through the spines of the leaves are starting to look a darker green. Um, got my cucumbers. They haven't done a whole lot. Um, and actually some of the leaves you can see the white on them I don't know if the heat caused that uh, you know they did like some of the other plants did they sort of just popped out and then didn't do a whole lot after that and I think that has to do with the lack of nutrients lack of nitrates nitrites nitrates uh, you know the lack of food for the plants but since I've added the fish, I've noticed a little change, some new leaves. So hopefully, if I can get those things to grow up off of the gravel bed a little bit, um, where it won't affect the leaves, uh, maybe I'll have some cucumbers. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can see I got a little pepper plant. And I am seeing some darker, darker color to the leaves. It's getting better so uh, 
you know, hope, hopefully that's that's making a change, a positive change. Uh, I've seen some people post some stuff that say, you know, your your system really needs to get uh, conditioned. I guess you'd say. Uh, I forget how people explained it, but uh, you know, after five or six months, the the system will be more balanced and uh, you know, hopefully perform a little better. I cut back. Uh, the lettuce and I was gonna I cut it all back and I wanted to see actually that's not lettuce that's uh, spinach I'm sorry I cut it back to see what would happen see if it's gonna start some new growth uh, the leaves that were left on it are getting uh, a little darker green on it so uh, basically those are the changes in the system you know I, I do see some some positive changes um, I can show you. Well, let me do this. All right, here's the inside of my biofilter. You can see I got the two air stones in there. It's adding a lot of oxygen to the biofilter, so I think that will help. Um, the one development I have in here, I don't know if you can see them or not, but I've got a bunch of snails. You can probably see a couple on the air airline there um, there's some over there on the on the wall of the tank and actually there's a couple floating around I've got a bunch of snails and I think that's a positive thing I think they'll eat some of the algae and some of the excess stuff in the uh, in the biofilter that gets pulled in so uh, that is one change as far as that goes I put uh, put a couple pieces of conduit here. I'm going to have to tie those two remaining tomato plants that I have. I'm going to tie those up here in a little bit because they're, they've gotten too big. Uh, and they're kind of pulling out of the uh, pipe. So I just want to tie those up and to let those finish out. You know, again, those look like they're getting some additional darker green in, in those. So. Anyway, uh, I think that's all for now. And uh, when I see some more significant changes, I'll post another video.